Yes, sir. What's up, good people? It's your boy, the boy Henry Heck, back at it again with another video. And today we will be speaking to this Sarah Bond interview where people were surprised she danced around a certain question. A straight up question. A question who, or, or not who, but a question to which the, amp the answer could have been pretty simple. Instead of giving a simple, direct answer, she put on a tap dancing shoes. She proceeded to dance around, pirouette, you know, if that's the correct name of that dance move. Square dance. She was square dancing around the answer. And never really, you know, giving insight as to why they made a certain decision in getting rid of that personnel, getting rid of that staff, closing down that studio, stealing their IP, pulling a jack move. I never really expected these type of individuals to give a direct answer. You don't get a job like that because of being honest. And when they give you a job like that, they don't expect you to be honest. They want you to double talk. They want you to, as Bruce Lee would say, use flowery words. He also said never to trust people who use flowery words, which is true. You know, these people in these positions are good talkers. They good about making you feel a certain way. And the reason I think people are so keen to it now is because that community has been lied to generation after generation. They have seen what happens when when leadership tells them one thing and does another. You fired the studio, you turn right around and say you need a studio to do the exact same thing that that studio you fired did. I don't think folks is going now. Do I place the blame of what took place with those studios on Miss Sarah Bond? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, I don't. I don't. You know, she's in position and I think her focus is on something completely different, as she stated, because the only thing she was really giving clear answers to and talking about was mobile. Cloud. Which isn't a shock to me. You don't go over there to T-Mobile, one of the premier service providers in, 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 in the cell phone industry, to not push toward mobile, to not push toward those type of services. So it makes 100% sense as to why she's speaking about those things and about why Xbox itself went and got her to implement those things. Because she, she got expertise in that field. She got connections. She knows the comings and goings. You know, Phil did try to implement some things as far as cloud, but he don't have expertise in that. That's, that's not his wheelhouse. This individual here, if you're a console gamer, look forward to be disappointed. Look forward to further realizing that you are not the focus. Like some people like to say, well, PlayStation console games ain't the focus. Because they putting games on PC later on, which I disagree with. I still believe that PlayStation, they even said it. I still um, uh, uh, believe that the console PlayStation gamer is the focus. You know, later on, whenever they decide to put certain games, Dan, certain games that aren't mo uh, multiplayer on PC, like the net, like if they turn around and put the next God of War on PC day and date, put the next Last of Us on PC day and date. Put Ghost of Tsushima 2 on uh, PC day and date. Then we might have a bit of a discussion to be had. But as for right now, them putting games over there late, them bowing out to the fight with the PC gamer as far as requiring PSN logins in, in Hell Divers 2 because of Arrowhead's mistake, I don't necessarily think they're catering more to them. You know, Arrowhead is a PC studio. At this point, you can't really say otherwise. They're a PC first studio. It is what it is. 
um, in 2015 when they put that game on studio, I mean, put that game on PC, that wasn't really the type of type of vibe that, you know, PlayStation was push, pushing at the time. So it leads me to believe that that CEO brought that up as far as um, making Hell Divers one of the first games to be put. And it wasn't put that day and day. It came to, you know, you know coming to PC uh, six or seven, eight months later. It came, it came to PC within a year, um, which I believe was the goal of that studio that to, to always have that game on PC. But um, it's not about that right now. It's about Miss Sarah Bond and how people are, you know, they're really trying to throw all the blame of studio closures and whatnot on her when you can't. You can't do that. You know what I mean? This is a Microsoft decision. Let's be honest. This is a Microsoft decision. Microsoft has allowed Philip to run the brand, the Xbox brand, how he saw fit. Nothing paid off. Nothing paid off. Whatever he tried to implement did not work. The the only benefit Phil Spencer had to Microsoft Xbox was pushing to acquire Bethesda and Activision. That was it. So now Microsoft Xbox has all these IP at their disposal to do with what they will. That's it. That was his contribution to Xbox gaming culture, buying studios, buying IP. That's it. Rest assured, these IP are going to be relegated to mobile game versions. She said it herself. Oh, yeah, she said it herself. You think you think the Doom mobile game was the only? Oh no, buddy! You think the Fallout, the the Vault game, the only one gonna be? No, buddy! No, sir, Rebob. I wouldn't be surprised if you see we see a high five rush mobile game. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Banjo Kazooie mobile game. Cause we see the engines they use, and they not like incredibly. Uh, 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 technological ad- advanced sh- stuff we ever never seen before. They're gonna use that ground engine for everything, and everything gonna be able to be played from console, mobile, cloud, PC. And it's gonna be easy to make it work across all those devices because the engine ain't hitting on shit, it's not hitting on nothing. It's cost effective, it's cheap to make games that look like that. See, it's cheap to make games that look like that and keep them up and running. That's the Xbox future. That is, they not making blockbusters no more. Hellblade 2 is the last one you're going to see. You see how they downgraded Alvaro, how it looked when they, oh, that's just, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. This is not 2010. Ain't, ain't no way you're going to sit up here and tell me that they could not have produced a game that looked that way. Right here and now, on the on the console that eat monsters for breakfast with a side order of devs and studios. That console is 100% capable of that, but you know it might not be capable of that cell phone, Siri is, cloud streaming. So of course they're gonna down they downgrading they grant they downgrading all that to be viable across all these screens. You gonna be able to play these Xbox games on the Samsung refrigerator. You're going to be able to. They're going to be of so low technology. Hellblade 2 lad one y'all going to get. I'm going to go and tell you right now. Rest assured, Fable, when Fable come out, it's not going to be a beautiful game. You know what they're going to try to say to, 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 to carry the, the way that the game look? Art style. They love pulling out art style when the game look bad. When the game look bad, art style. It's, well, it's the art style. It's a... It's a, it's it's charming. I don't give a fuck about no game looking charming. I'm not trying to meet this motherfucker and take it out to dinner. I don't give a fuck about a game looking charming. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I pay, I paid five hundred, a hot five hundred. I want to be wild. I don't want to be charmed. These folks crazy. But yeah, Sarah Bond. Like I said, I don't I don't think she to blame. She up there doing what she was picked and paid to do. 
If you expect an honesty, I don't know what to tell you. If you expect somebody to give it to you straight, I don't know what to tell you. If you expect somebody to not come out there and talk you in a circle, I don't know what to tell you. These folks are politicians. That's who they that's who they remind me of. Or downstream, somebody referred to Phil as the Joe Biden of game. And he right. He right. Sarah Bond about to be the Kamala Harris of game right now. That's what she about to be. You expect her to get up there and be candid? You crazy. You crazy. You get what you get and you don't pitch. Like, like this woman nephew say. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. Because this is what you asked for. This is what you cheered for. Game, all the media out here uh, promote Game Pass and trying to be funny. And, and why would I need to promote Game Pass? Uh, calling out the price, talking about the value and all this other nonsense. They the blame. We were talking about who is the blame. All of them are to blame. They was all complicit. Now they want to take a break. Don't want to put videos out. We not going to stream this week. Cope and seethe. That's what their fan base like to say. Cope and seethe. Guess what? I don't got to cope nor seethe. I got games. I got Stella Blade. What do you have? You got a you got a big game come out in two weeks. Ain't a ain't a stitch of ain't a stitch of marketing. Ain't a stitch. They not even finna pay to market that game. Cause why? It's a $50, eight hour game that was never supposed to be what people are trying to make it out to be. It is there is no way, shape, or form that game make that money back. And with that being said, after they put that joint on PS5 rest assured. Rest assured, some trimming. The culling will continue. Rest assured. And it ain't nobody to blame but y'all. But y'all. You can't throw this on Sarah Bond. No, no, sir, e. Bob, you cannot. I already seen. We already seen them trying to blame her. She not making them decisions. She not, she not worried about that. She not worried about that. She not over there dealing with that. She work, She focused on something else. She focused on this new handheld. This was she. Fo- well, I don't, don't want to say hand. She focused on this new system. That's more advanced. She didn't say that she. She didn't say it was more powerful. She didn't say it was. You finna. You sitting up here thinking you finna get a beast of a console. You set yourselves up. You set yourselves up for that. They not even focusing on the beast of the console they got now. You think they finna put out another one? You crazy. You crazy. But that's all I got for right now. I want to keep y'all for too long. So I will leave it there. And I will catch y'all in the next one.